Hello, guys. It's Ad here, and I'm here with Cat English. Hi. I have two white belly kikes. My first white belly kike is um, Harley. He is almost two years old, and Daisy, his girlfriend. I recently got not not well, about maybe five months, not even that long ago, and they are so 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 cute. They're birds, by the way. Yes, they are. It's like when she birds. had like she had hat when cat shared with me the proper um species of the birds. I yeah. didn't quite get it because to me, like birds are birds, but when you really break it down. There's They're... so many different types of birds. I mean, they the they they are actually sort of parrots in the that. Okay, line. so what are the difference between parrots and birds? Like for like the birds like dogs, like golden retrievers, Alsatians. They're all dogs, but they're just different species. Oh. So it's different, different um, um, different breeds. Saipan. Saipan. Yeah, same thing. Oh, okay. Mm. Thing uh, um. Oh yeah, I mean the what the most popular is some um, I think um African grey, like in Thailand it's quite popular. Yeah. I, I didn't even know how popular it is. What um people having um different types of yeah but, uh, pets. birds. But it's, yeah, it's really interesting, and I learned a lot about how they are quite affectionate oh, <laughs> and they, they, are, and they... surprisingly smart. I mean, and they live a lot longer than dogs i mean i used to have dogs i had mm -hmm. a golden retriever she she died when she was only eight and a bit because right. she, she died of cancer um my alsatian she she was oh she lived for a long age she was 17 i think when she passed away but she she had to be put down because she was in a lot of pain and she had cancer as well so we had to put her down as well but um uh yeah, yeah i didn't want to have dogs anymore because you've gone through it i've, I've gone through that too yeah. where it's like um i've had past um past animals who um that have passed and it's yeah. put me in a position a position where i'm not going to have another pet but then that doesn't have that doesn't you happen. have the golden retriever now. i have <laughs> i have an adopted golden retriever right um and um it took you know i am I think it's very important to adopt and not shop. Yeah. But in any case, if you don't do that, an animal doesn't, an animal's not making that decision whether the animal is being adopted or not. So exactly. you just need to be sure that you love that animal, right. whether it's a dog, a cat, a bird, that you're invested from beginning to the end. To the end, exactly. Yeah. Don't don't just get a pet because you want to have a pet or you just feel like having a pet. I mean, you have got to be really um conscious yeah and you yeah. also have to be yeah as you said invested in it you can't just say okay i want to take care of it now but now i'm bored somebody take it from me or just you've seen i mean you've i'm sure that people have seen like clips when they just throw the dogs out and just leave them stranded stranded somewhere yeah. i mean that's don't do that you know well, you it, um if you look at putting yourself in their place emotionally. Right. Um, it's just terrible because yeah. it's like you bring them into your life and then the next thing it's like they've been they've been used to being cherished with love. They'll love you um regardless. They have unconditional love yeah, you. Regardless if you're being like an ass or even like, if you're mistreating them. Yeah, or being abusive. So um yeah, that's like just something that we want to share. But I think we were really discussing about things that are much, much greater than that. And that's oh, like yeah. with wildlife, yeah. especially with animals, majestic animals like elephants. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and it's just people don't know that um a lot of animals out there, whether you go to like, you know, the um the zoos or like a lot of places where animals are there for people's consumption. Yeah. That's what exactly entertainment. Mm um and for them to be able to entertain their spirits are broken yeah and it's a lot more layered than you would expect absolutely there's a lot more trauma there's a lot more it's like we can, we we we're not even able to fully go deep into it other than to let you know um and share if you don't already know mm -hmm. that these animals whether they're elephants or um even like you have like killer whales or whatnot mm. for them to be able to entertain you 
their spirits have to be totally broken. Yeah. And you don't know how much trauma they go go through. And not even, you know, not just adult animals, but they are tortured and they are mistreated in such horrific ways. I mean, I I know so many details about, but I'm not gonna say anything about them. But honestly, I, I heard about these things that actually actually really do happen. Um I was, I just, I was speechless. I did yeah. not know what to say. And I was crying. I, I'm, well, it's, honestly, it's unbelievable. before um, this little session that we're having, like Kat was I sharing. Told you that. Yeah. Um, I, I, I know um, to a certain extent about animal spirits being broken, mm. but not to the level that Kat just shared with me. We don't want to be political. Yeah. We just want to share from our heart and, what we feel about it yeah. if we're able to share it to you guys that um just you know be conscious when um when you think about animals when mm. you think about um wildlife mm. and i know it's not something that you like for us it's like what can we do and i think one thing you can do is just be aware yeah that's the first step mm. just be conscious and be aware yeah. yeah i mean we want to help in so many ways but i mean it's so difficult and it's so it's a huge industry that yeah. you know you can't you can't really do much about it except for you know yeah as you said be aware and and just, don't give in to the, the the demand don't be part of the demand where yeah. basically when you know elephant riding that's something very very simple as wanting to ride an elephant mm -hmm. um you're encouraging and supporting that industry so yes. that's that's something as simple as not encouraging it there's other ways there are sanctuaries that you can actually um go and see them at yeah. their natural habitats you know i mean these people they really do take care of them and, but anywhere like in the city or you know anywhere that's not really there place or their home or, or their natural atmosphere um and doing anything unnatural for example putting those wooden seats on i mean elephants they have rounded backs and, and those... when you put that on and the weight of human beings sitting on them it actually makes their backs collapse it and like they are in their backs. a lot of pain we don't know that because we don't there's so many people that don't know about this, you know, and um, it's it is sad, but now that you know, we kind of told you sort of bits and pieces. Bits and pieces. And now you you're can, aware of it, and so. you can go educate yourselves further about yeah. it. So that's pretty much what we want to share in this small little session little while session. we're killing time, <laughs> and then we'll have like a proper session because I know um, we're gonna have to catch our flights. Happy New Year, and um, hope you all have a great, great New Year. Hope the New Year and the whole year brings you joy, happiness, good health, wealth, prosperity, and I hope you have a great, great New Year's celebration. <laughs> uh, may all the negativity, all the things of the past that um, did not serve you any purpose, may it be left behind, yep. and may you be filled with good energies, and with positivity moving forward into the new year. All right, guys. Bye. Happy New Year. Happy new year.